In this video, we're going to talk about how to set up our portals and then our portal groups. Typically, the wizards will walk you through the process as you're creating a portal. But if they have one that is already in existence, or if you'd like to bypass the wizards entirely and do it manually, you can do so here. Under Access Control, we have portals. We can add a new one, if we had one, here. In this case, I'm going to edit the one that already exists. We're going to select the stair 1, third floor, employee entrance. It already knows that the network knows that it's connected to this door, which is our micro node 141. All the different hardware that makes up the entire door solution is a portal. In this case, we have to lock it with its various unlock and shut times and seconds extended times. There's usually ADA compliance and can be selected by individual when creating a new user. If there's secondary output, other devices, and etc., we can put it here. If the Rex is in motion mode, like a Rex motion detector, or if it's a request to exit manual switch, we can select that here as well. Next, we would select our card readers and our keypads that are associated with the door. If we have one here that's connected, that's already been labeled according to the door, and if there's a keypad associated with it, we can put it here. If you're working in a card in, card out type environment, you'd put your second reader here, and that would be the opposite side of the door. If you wanted to accept a card read while the door is currently open, you could do that here as well. For a double card presentation, you can select this box to enable it and then select a time spec for it as well. You can do this in several places for the double card presentation. You can do it in your access levels or you can do it at the individual portal that you've created here as well. If the door is forced open or if you have any events that you want associated with it, you can select any of the events here as well. For instance, if you wanted it to beep whenever there is a valid access, we can set up the time in which it beeps and select it from our events selected there. These are events that are local to the individual node. The events that we've created system-wide are covered in the previous video. So in the event that the door is forced open, we can select any of the events that we've selected. If the door is open, what to do in the event of an invalid swipe or a valid swipe, and various other settings that are available here. You can also choose to enable or disable any of these by selecting the checkbox right below it. Once you're finished making the changes, you can click Save, and that'll save any changes that you've made to that portal. Next, what we'll do is I will cancel out of this, we will select our portal groups similar to how we select other groups or other devices in our system. We can click add to create a new one, give it a new name, description, any unlock time spec, or if we want to collect a first in unlock rule, we can set that here as well.